A few moments later. Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, that's actually the last time I'm saying that this year. Alright! Today I'm going to be doing my highlights of 2019 because I didn't want to do an end of year Q&A. That's fucking cliche as fuck. But to start off, I'm going to open my gift. Going to open my Prosecco. Because you know we had a good year. Oh, this gives me anxiety. Yeah! yeah! Ah! What the fuck? I got Prosecco on my floor, bitch. This is the ghetto. Um, they look at me clean on camera. Do you guys know what this reminds me of? Molly the maid. Hey, maid. I see you got on your maid outfit like you always do. <laughs> hey, maid. I see you got on your maid outfit like you always do. What's the reason why? Y'all trifling bitches probably kicked on this fucking video in the first place. <laughs> is the fact that my guy is NSG. They reached out to me while well, it was Pappy. Shout out to Pappy. He shouted me and he was just like, oh yeah, no, no, like, we're going on tour. What are you thinking about hosting the London date? I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> like, what do you mean host the London date? I've never hosted, like, most I've hosted is like clubs and clubs <laughs> yeah i've had a word with the guys want you to host the london show blah, blah, blah. i said yes with the hands on me <laughs> i was so gassed i remember i had my blue jacket on with my white top I remember i pulled up i was giving everyone shots da, 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 da. i kept running to the shop i was buying very nephew i was giving everyone shots back to back to back shots i was making everyone play games and it's like i felt comfortable in it and i remember every time i was going to the shop that I saw bare of my supporters in the line in it and they were just like, oh my god, no, 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 I was like, friend! <laughs> the schedule was running a bit late in it, so obviously I didn't get the opportunity to do sound check. Sound check is basically when you go on stage and you kind of do like a rehearsal. Um, you have your mic, you're on the stage, you get like a feel around the stage, you walk around, just do your sound check in it, the fuck? It's common sense. So, yeah, everything was running a little bit late. I mean, it's concerts, it's shows, like, everything's always, like, you know I mean, hectic. So, we was doing, so I missed sound check and I was just in the back taking shots because I was mad nervous, in it? Because I was thinking, imagine I come out and, like, everyone just, like, get this bitch the fuck off the stage. Like, why is she here? We want NSG! We want NSG! Like, that's literally the idea that I had in my head. I had this idea in my head that everyone was just going to be, like, get this bitch off, we want NSG, we want NSG, we want NSG sort of thing. So, it was my time, yeah, to come on. There was DJ Sook, YBE, like, all my people, all my people, she's picking me up, like, we got Nella Ross! And I came out to realize, bitch, give a fuck about the nigga, big wrecking bag, oh, five, six, big Nella Ross! I don't know, maybe it's like a complex, or it's like something that's in my head, but I don't think I'm all that, like, I don't think I'm, I'm not bitch, I'm not a rose, y'all better talk to me nice. I don't, I don't act like that, I don't move like that, like. When I was expecting everyone to be like, ah, oh, hey. And it's just like, as I'm walking on the stage, I'm seeing the whole bottom floor and the top floor light up. And I was just like, wait, hold on a minute. I was so shocked. And then I automatically went into, like, you're not gonna sit here and cry and be like, oh, you guys, I can't believe this is the reception I'm getting. I was like, right, move like a fucking snake. <laughs> I was there with my guys, DJ Six was playing all the bangers, like, best night of my life. So obviously I'm there hosting that, like, singing along to all the songs, vibes on stage. So then, obviously, <laughs> Obviously, when I was looking at the front row, yeah, I could tell that the girls in the front row, they watch my channel and they support me in it. And they were snapping me, so I was thinking that like, whatever I do, I have to go closer to them to make sure I get a snap with them. So, I'm walking towards the girls in the front row, yeah, and obviously there's two massive speakers, because obviously it's a concert, like, you need 20,000 speakers for everyone to really be hearing doosh, 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 doosh. I'm basically going like this with the mic in it. Say your song goes, you oh, and I'm like, like that in it, so that everyone can sing along with me. So I kept doing that, guys. When I tell you, I was so concentrated on the girl that I was walking towards, my nigga, I tripped. <laughs> bro, bro, this is so humiliating. Alpha. It's alpha. It all happened so quick. 
quickly but so slowly at the same time and like, I tripped on the speaker and then I felt and I think what made it worse yeah is the fact that <laughs> everybody was ah! before I even hit the ground <laughs> guys the fucking ghetto I was on the floor for a split second I started laughing because I was thinking this could only happen to me realistically when you think about anything that could happen to anyone could only happen to me, you tell that much. I stood up and I moved like a fucking snake. You know when Shakira said the hips don't lie, the hips didn't fucking lie that day, tell you that much. I was preparing myself, I was already thinking like, right, Nella, you're gonna go viral. Whenever someone drops on stage, people always just post it. And it's like, till this day, till this day, no one posted it. This day, to this day, to this day. Oh, like, I just felt like, oh. Second highlight of the year now, was my PLT podcast. <gasps> when I think of pretty little thing here, yeah, I think of me buying clothes when I had no money. So when they reached out to me to do a PLT interview, I was like, uh, who? The PLT podcast, the ones where they're interviewing Karichi, the ones where they're interviewing Sweetie, the ones where they're interviewing fuck off. Fuck off, man. That was just such, such, such a big achievement because it's just like, a massive brand like that recognises that I have something to say and they wanted to hear it and they want to give me a platform other than my own to tell my story. And what advice would you give to anyone out there who might be struggling with their own body confidence mm. or just their own confidence as a person? Mm. I just wanna let people know that you're actually perfect. Cause you know some people are just like, you're fine the way you are. You're not fine, you're perfect. Yeah. Like you was perfectly and wonderfully made like you was made perfect your creator looked at you and was like oh, this is banging you know do you know what i mean <laughs> and i feel like for people struggling with confidence stop looking at others yeah? yeah stop looking at others and focus on what you like about yourself and magnify that i my favorite part about myself is my personality mm -hmm. so what i done i took that and i ran with it yeah i don't have a bum i don't need one <laughs> right, I need one. It's okay. So maybe when I have kids, I might, you know, fluff up. That's it. Get the yips or something. But it is what it is. Focus on your favorite parts of yourself and just run off with yeah. that. I tell my sister that all the time. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't do interviews. I think I've done one interview in my past. I just don't like interviews. I don't like being put on a spot. Like sometimes with other influences and with other um, artists in that, like interviews as a setup. For example, someone will go to an interview and say something and then someone will edit it in a certain way. And all of a sudden, this person's beefing, this, this person, oh my God, she's a colorist, oh, this, this, that. Like I'm just have paranoia over interviews. Number one, it's intrusive. Why the fuck do you want to know the things that I haven't put out there? If I haven't put out there, why the fuck do you want to know? And number two, it's like people want to make sure words. I have this very, very bad stigma of interviews in my head, but it was PLT. But see, my PLT interview was more important to me than a verified tick. Like, that was my verification tick. Like, that was unverified. <laughs> and yeah, cheers to that bitch. Oh, let me even. And also, I want to talk about the BT Awards. Like, I can't believe I was at the BT Awards. Guys, I met Megan. Like, are you fucking sick? I was there interviewing people on the red carpet. First of all, I interviewed Ghana. Ah! Best year of my life, best year of my life, best year of my life, yeah. Cause obviously, me, when I meet celebs, I never act like I'm a fan because I'll start crying. <laughs> so I have to act like, yeah, I'm in the roles, what? What? Man, what? Man's a big deal, what? These times inside, I'm screaming like a bitch. <laughs> people were telling me that about Idris Elba, and they were like, how did you interview Idris? And da 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 da. I was sweating bullets but it's like you have to fake it to make it how else are you gonna do things in life if you don't fake it to make it like me interviewing someone that i admire i can't train for that because that feeling of oh my god i'm standing in front of idris oh my god daddy daddy <laughs> can't control it so you just have to fake it you have to be like hi yeah we like the baby you have to fake it well these are in my head the thoughts that were going through my head you know the lord is gonna pull me up on that on judgment day and i'm gonna have nothing to say <laughs> I'm gonna have nothing to say. <laughs> like, I was in the same room as Rihanna. Like the fuck. I remember when Rihanna came on stage. Yeah, I was just like, but um, my memes. Fuck off. Man. It's like every single month of this year, I was going viral for something. But this one, the best one yet. And yeah, biggest highlight of my fucking year. You guys know how much I love J Hus. J Hus tweeted me, and that's how we're gonna end the fucking video. Happy New Year's. More life. 
more blessings, more money. I want all my friends to get pregnant next year. I'm speaking it into existence. I'm speaking engagement on all of you guys. Marriage, everyone start your businesses. Those that want to travel the world, travel the world. And I want everyone, I don't care if you're Muslim, I don't care if you're Christian. But I just want to encourage everyone to get closer to God this year. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys next year.